Hello, my dear folks. Welcome to the East West Show, exclusively sponsored by Paul Botanley. Paul Botanley, a brand name internationally renowned that represents men's shoes and jackets with culture, tradition, even lifestyle. All right, I'm wearing one of the jacket. Maybe I need one too. Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> let's, let's see if we can get one for you. All right, thank you, Paul, and uh, let's do the show. Today, we're talking about West Covina. In West Covina, we see something happening, positively, very positive, we start New Year with. And today, joining me is my good friend, my backbone kind of friend of West Covina, my own city, because we're here. We are in the heart of West Covina. So, whatever, I don't care, but whatever happens in West Covina, I do care. <laughs> okay. So, to Council Member Tony Wu of West Covina, welcome to the show. Thank you. And uh, well, uh, I believe that if we go back to the point where you started your campaign, though, I would say you have, if I do some analysis, you have lots of common ground with Trump. In the sense of that you both are do developing, development, and you bo both are business type, right? And you both uh, put politics into economy or economy into politics. And there are differences also notice in styles, that you have a different style that is totally different from Donald Trump. Right? So uh, once again, it is a, a bigger issue at the federal level uh, when Trump is concerned. But in West Covina, you are our bigger issue. <laughs> You're yep. the issue, all right? Mm -hmm. Let's talk mm -hmm. about you focusing on West Covina. So my first question, which is very simple, what do you see as uh, common ground between you and uh, Donald Trump, and what do you see as differences in between you yeah, two? Uh, and as of course, okay, I, I'm not Donald Trump, okay? Mm -hmm. Trump essays like maybe a zillion times more than me. But on the style or background, we are kind of similar. We are all pure businessmen, mm -hmm. and uh, we are doing business, we do real estate. He is a developer, and he buying the big stuff. And I am own real estate company, I own real estate mortgage banking company, so it's much smaller scale. Mm -hmm. And uh, compared with him, he is a big corporation, I'm a small business. Mm -hmm. But the style is, we are all businessmen, so we, when we are running the election, we do it in a totally different way. When I was running in 2015, so I'm doing the way is I basically using my own money. I do not accept any. Your own money. You are not. You did not accept any. Nope. Of the lobbying's money. No, right. no. Okay. I, I don't want to That's be. That's a very good point. Yes. Start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. No matter how you accept the 500 dollars or. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, from uh, some kind of contractors or developers, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. basically you feel like you kind of owe them. So okay, or even yeah, okay, yeah, union right. member. Okay, yeah, and yeah. I have a police and firefighter endorse me. They want to donate five hundred dollars mm -hmm. in West Covina. Our donation limit is five hundred dollars. Okay, so I basically didn't accept. I accept their endorsement, but I re return the check back to them. And uh, I have some, s yes, I have some senior citizen mail me $500, I return the check too. I think they need the money more than me. So, so, right. so in my way is... I accept <coughs> your endorsement. Correct. Here goes back to you, your, money. your check. Correct. Thank you very much for exactly. doing so. Uh -huh. I want to keep my hands clean with the money from money and... Uh, Oh, that's a very, very good way to do it. Yeah, and, and the s when the city election, it doesn't cost that much. Okay, when you go to the federal mm -hmm. level, it mm -hmm. costs a zillion dollars. Mm -hmm. But in the local elections, uh, more and less, it's a uh, people connection. Uh, you need to talk to people. So, so I spend a lot of time, even, okay, I was full-time on my business, but mm -hmm. I still spend from 4 o'clock to about 9 o'clock at the summertime. Okay, and uh, when they get darker, though I go to fun. Okay, seven. Okay, four o'clock to about seven o'clock. Okay, and All every right. day, every day, and Saturday I do from ten o'clock to uh, nine o'clock. Uh -huh. Non-stop door knocking, and uh, and uh, right. I'm very proud. Okay, mm -hmm. and and to to finish that task, and 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 I told a lot of people that the trick is, you need to spend a quality time with the people or resident willing to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Meaning, a lot of uh, consultant told me say. Normal spend three minutes, you have to move on. Don't spend too much 
time because mm -hmm. you are wasting okay your time your time is so precious you could yeah, you should yeah, go yeah. to next stop and next stop but I cannot do it you know I'm a talker like you I like mm -hmm. to talk so <laughs> so when people o open okay. their mouths we talk uh, sometimes okay. we talk more than half hours uh -huh. and people say Tony why are you willing to spend time mm -hmm. and I say well I like to talk okay and we have a good conversation and mm -hmm. I try to persuade you mm -hmm. and that's why it happened and then one one person I find out if you persuade one person Mm. That person is going to become your supporter. He's going to tell everybody that vote for Tony. And that's why first time I run, okay, I beat the current mayor mm. and I become a city councilman. And then I can implement what my vision for my city. And for one year, okay, it changed so much. Okay, we have a lot of that's good things happening. That's very gra grassrooted in my term. I found that uh, a lot of common. You all, you just mentioned one thing. You said. Donald Trump is a zillion times richer than you, and business is a zillion times bigger than you. But he is handling a population of 300 million. You're handling a population of 10,000, no, 120,000, 120, right? Mm -hmm. So size-wise, population size-wise, is not, a, Correct. Not, a, not as big, Correct. right? Yet, when you put your efforts into the election, you are not doing a huge fundraisers. Nope. As I see, lots of people do. Mm, no need. Elected officials, mm -hmm. and I receive invitation of uh, of fundraisers all the time. And uh, of course, I don't say anything wrong with the fundraising. I'm talking about you really uh, make a difference, quite a difference. That I refu refuse to accept any money. Uh, from a local uh, donation. Yeah, but I, I need to kind of uh, say about my background. Mm -hmm. And first, okay, this is my first time running. I don't have any politic backgrounds, okay, no connections, no association, okay. I'm just a businessman and uh, live in West Covina for 27 years. Mm -hmm. And when people ask me to run, and I say, why me? And they say, why not? You have some money and you have a big mouth. And it's <laughs> perfect for the city councilman. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh -huh. I decided to, to do it because uh -huh. the, a lot of residents request me to try it. And I mm. want to challenge myself, see how I can make this thing happen. And uh -huh. a lot of people say, okay, Tony, don't do it. Okay, waste your time. Why mm. you want to do this? 50% people will hate you if you become a city council. Mm. And an, an, another thing is this. Uh, to run elections costs money and it's very difficult to get elected, especially you are the minority it and, does, and does, you are the yeah, fresh out of yeah, both yeah. 30 years ago. So why people want to vote for you? Mm -hmm. You speak English, you even have with accent. So yeah, why yeah, the yeah, native yeah. want to vote for you? And uh, so maybe they have a bias. Okay, mm -hmm. this is what they say. And the second thing is, even you get elected, you ne it cannot change anything. Nothing you can change. They're all the same. Oh, not necessarily. Uh, but uh, no, you're, but you're changing. Of course. Of around. course. That's yeah. what they say. That's what uh -huh. they say. All the negative. Just like when I started my business, okay, everybody say, don't do it. Okay, don't mm -hmm. be a real estate. Okay, okay it's, oh, everybody's a real estate licensee. Why you want to do that business? But see, I'm doing totally differently. I become very successful mm -hmm. in the real estate business. So same thing too. If I decided to do it, I will make it excellent. Okay, I'm not going to stop with all the obstacles. So, so, so that's how different. So, uh, you know what, mm. as a show host sitting here, I have opportunities to talk to all kinds of uh, people, including elected officials, right? Both winners or non-winners. Right? Uh, I try to pick things in common. I try to pick things not in common. From you, I see what I see, uh, accent, English accent, well, it doesn't even matter. And on the contrary, it helps. This guy's different. Yes. Right? <laughs> and uh, it happens with you. Mm -hmm. And also, without a fundraising, lots of fundraising, well, but sometimes a negative, negativity. Lots of people who did not win the election came to me say, you know, I should have done more fundraising. The fundraising wasn't enough. Right? Okay, that was the point, it's but it was not the very point. Uh, uh, in your case, the fundraising is zero. Am zero, right? zero. Okay, uh, and I want to go back to what I just say. Uh -huh. Okay, it's not complied to everybody due to I have some money, mm -hmm. and I do not want to spend people's money due to I do not provide any proof that I can do better for them. Mm -hmm. If I don't have any proof, why should I take people's money? I want to prove to you, yeah, okay, yeah, that yeah, I can make a difference. Yeah, right, then yeah. in the future, if I run in, then you decide you want to give me mm -hmm. a donation or not. And right now, I don't deserve a dime. Okay, now, it all comes down to political favor. 
if I do you a particular favor, you feel in debt. Correct. And you too, vice versa. Mm -hmm. right? If you're free of that kind of, uh, kind of mind pressure, you mm -hmm. have your mind pressure, okay, Jack Chow does something to me, I got to be... Return the favor. Yeah, return the favor, like that. And vice versa, you do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Without that, your mind is so liberated, yep. emancipated, yep. you do what you want. And then nobody will criticize me. And you know, on your case, I would say, behind you, on your back, you don't have a negative whatever history to carry on. Mm, because yet, you uh, run for the first time. Correct. Right? And then, when you started doing it, it was a brand new way though, my hands are clean with donors' money. Yes. Right? So I do not owe anybody anything. I owe the city of West Covina a good job. Yes, I I, I want mm. to go back to I like it. I want to go back to the election. Okay, mm. okay, especially a small election like the city. Okay, election it, it's our city is bigger, hundred twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay, and most of the city is thirty thousand, forty thousand. It's not a big city and compared to uh, other cities. We are big. Okay, you are still above average. Correct, but mm -hmm. but my point is still not a big like an LA yeah, city. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so in that way, the cause is it should be that much. And and the thing you can okay mm -hmm. much effective to approach your voter, meaning you can get uh, the people mm -hmm. how many times they vote, and then you approach those people so-called high propensity voter. Mm. I learned from the, my, my election, before I don't know nothing about that, now I understand how to approach it. You basically you run like a business, so how to be more effective. Mm. Then I find out mm. the best way to do it is approach the, each, each of individual. Yeah, running politics like you run business, that's really quite a new concept. That's seen and all accepted by Americans, the majority of Americans, otherwise Donald Trump would not be elected. Correct. Right? So, uh, today, my dear audience, is I have the great opportunity to sit here with the, our council member of West Covina, which is the city that we are in, the g and &E studio is in, the uh, EDI is in, that I've been working for the past 20 years of time. So I care about. Now, let's take a very short moment out. When we come back, we'll use uh, Mr. Tony Wu, uh, Tony Wu, council member, as an example, to indicate what is local politics. As exactly like the title of today's show says, what is local politics? All right, so stay with us. Hello, dear folks. Welcome back to the East West Show, exclusively sponsored by Paul Batali. Uh, a name brand represents uh, culture, tradition, and the lifestyle. So, uh, thank you for sponsoring with uh, the show today. I see it as a great opportunity to learn number one about what's happening with us, around us. Number two, what is American politics? Number three, what is a local politics, right? That's why exactly the title of the show says, what is local politics? Now, why I uh, invite Tony Wu, council member of West Covina here? Because I do see lots of things in common between him and Donald Trump. And yet, I see lots of differences, okay, in between him and uh, Trump. So, what the difference is and the common ground that makes a difference, that's a new difference I call. Right. Now, uh, both of them are uh, having a, a huge business background. Both of them are trying to apply business skills into politics. Yet, there are door knockings involved, lots of them. And there are campaign messages involved, lots of them. There are face-to-face -face talk to them, <coughs> lots of them on Tony's side. And with Donald Trump, we what we see is kind of swearing the face with a fist in the air like this, yeah, like that kind of thing. We don't see much in details. Okay, I am talking about the devil lies in the details. 
but your detail. Please. Okay, uh, I think, okay, just you saying, okay, how can Donald Trump or myself as a businessman has a chance to win? And, uh, but first, before you decide to run, you have to collect the database, the information, so how you run this election. Mm -hmm. So I decided to how to run, then I say, what is my <laughs> way? So I kind of consult a lot of people they ran before. Uh, and uh, I remember Ben Wang was uh, our former mayor. Yeah, Ben Wang. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, he's ten, 10 years ago. So I don't want to take credit. I know him in person. Yeah, I don't want to take credit over here because when I have a meeting with him, I say, hey, uh, Ben, I'm thinking about running. And then he told me this. He said, when you're running an election, since he's uh, very good at this, he said, you have the three things. It's called the 3M. So you see, this is why I want to give credit to, to, to Ben because mm -hmm. he, he told me about 3M. The first M is you must have a message. Message. Message, good. Message good, meaning good. why you are wrong. I'm glad I first said message yeah. accidentally. Exactly. Your okay. message is about I want to make West Covina different. I mm. want to improve West Covina by what and what and mm. what. Okay, and myself, who I am, I'm a, a problem solver. I'm the man can make things happen. So you want to send a message, a very a strong the message. message. Okay, very good. And the second thing, you must have a mechanism. Mechanism meaning you mechanism. must have a okay. your mechanism meaning you must have a team. A team of to help you. Mm. Volunteer to, to help you to do call, mm. calling. You must have a mailer. You must have a time to do what the thing is. Mechanism. You have a mechanism and a way, okay, to run this election for these six months. Mm. And the number three, money. Money. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I guess the third one. Yeah, I the third one. The money and the third. money I have. So mm. I, I use my own money. Yeah. It's a small election, mm. meaning it's a municipal. So you mean the co not cost that much. Mm. So I spend my own money about sixty-five thousand dollars. So I'm thinking 65, about sixty-five thousand. Okay. Dollars, okay, and I see some other people on the newspaper say they say they spend hundreds of thousand dollars, and then mm. that one are some people spend more than hundreds of thousand dollars yeah, didn't yeah. even get elected. Especially there is kind of like uh, well, I think yeah. the money didn't well spend, and I'm a businessman. I run my campaign ah. like business, so right. I calculate each dime. I'm not going to waste it. Okay, I see. so so I want to make sure uh -huh. the money going to the right place. while mm. then, so I cut out the middleman. I I approach the printer shop myself so I can kind of cut the cost and to send more mailers. So, so another thing you just have to control yourself. Don't just depend on your consultant and then, then basically you are basically become a puppet. So, so since I'm the businessman, I'm the business owner, I know what I want. Putting all these together, the way I see it is business concept already. Yes. Am I right? Exactly. Yeah. Not, uh, not only, I mean, far away from uh, running your own city, just running your own campaign. Like you're running your com yeah, company. Yeah, yeah, it costs a cassette of kind of a business. Budget. Uh, business money, I mean business bring. Yes. Okay, now, message you have. Yes. All right, you do want things, do you want to do things differently? Of course. You want to bring different picture to West Carolina in which, which, and which, which, and which area, right? Yes. And then you have the mechanism, yes. which is your people team that you organize. Yes. And for money, most people Budget. rely upon, they would rather reverse this, say money message me mechanism. Wrong, wrong, wrong. No, wrong. wrong. Okay, now, or for the last, and yet you run it in a, in a business way, mm -hmm. right? And for the middleman, I'm talking about exactly, I feel the same way, all right? Uh, if I hire you as my campaign manager, you go around the range everything for me, right? To, to charge you and 10, you 20%. have contractors for the signs, right? You have contractors for the distribution, and you have contractor, contractor for mailers, and so on so, so, so forth you cut all these middlemen out so that money is saved. Your 65 might work for 100. Yes. Uh, is that the case? Yes. All right, good. Double, and double, I, double I your believe, I believe power. that's exactly why Donald Trump won. Because the concept of running business, it's running politics in a business way spend less money is than well Hillary. accepted mm -hmm. by the American voters. Right? Correct. Okay. In your city, though, uh, I mean, shortly after election after you took office I uh, remember about two or three weeks I had you here mm -hmm. talking about I was simply asking you my question was so straightforward I said Tony what have you done for the past two or three weeks and your answer surprised me you did something dung, 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 one two three like step by step and from that point on we're talking about uh, almost a year passed yes right? so can you update ourselves yes. of running your own city in the ah. business way? I, I think the, peop the people really 
changing, the vote is changing is they trust the businessmen more than the politician. Okay, businessmen think things happen. Politician, they just empty promise. So I think that's the reason Trump won the election, because he's a businessman. Mm -hmm. No matter you like his policy currently or not, he basically he's delivering his promise during the campaign. So the 51% or 50.5% of population doesn't like it because they are the, the okay, losing side. I give you an example for allow me, please allow me a little insertion to, to differentiate uh, doers from politicians. We're talking about doers. Once I was in uh, big uh, <sighs> difficulty of uh, running something, of uh, managing some uh, event, right? And for the event itself, uh, I had to rely upon somebody's help on the council, on the council, con uh, council chamber, right? So when I called, first I couldn't get him, uh, two, when, he, uh, when I finally succeeded, he says, you go to somebody who and so who, and so, yes. all right? This very who and who is exactly the person where I bumped. Okay. Uh, this is very person is exactly the person that caused me uh, to come back to call you for help. Uh, okay. I, 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 and then, I, you know what, let me finish. And the, on the event day, when we finally worked out, on the event day, there was this guy dressed handsomely with a big Caesar. Yeah, is my effort. That's the difference. Uh, I, I, you see what I mean, right? I absolutely Without agree having with you. to mention a name. Yeah, you I know, know what yeah. I mean. No, yeah, exactly. So let's let's call it different. Okay, between the politician and businessman. Mm -hmm. Businessmen make things happen. Otherwise, their company will kaput. Okay, so if a successful business, meaning how he make uh, such a okay up and down time, uh, still exists. His company still hiring people, mm. still doing good. Okay, and still making money. So meaning he must be adopt the environment and to survive. Yeah. Okay, and right, and right. deliver the promise. So mm. so you just mentioned say Tony, what have you done? For what have year? you done? So one thing, okay, we have this conversation about six months or eight months ago. Okay, mm -hmm. and Somewhere, yeah. yes, and 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 I say, oh my policy, I'm going to deliver. And one year, okay, I send a uh, okay, so-called report card to my resident. Mm -hmm. What I have done for one report year. Report cards. Yes, meaning, mm -hmm. okay, what I have done, how many policy I make it happen. I happen, I basically making about 11 policies, all big one, one by one, all implement right now. Uh, so you're turning your homework to your teacher. I turn, I'm, no, I turn, I'm a student. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, no, a, no. I'm a board. You've done my homework. I'm the, I, get, homework. I get yeah. elected by our 120,000 of mm. so-called shareholder. Yeah, 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 I'm a yeah, board yeah. member. Mm. Now, as a board member, okay, manage the company, okay. I want to show them what this year is, a what the company. A presentation. A <laughs> presentation of what the board member, good, good, me, good, good. Tony Wood, done uh, it for you. Okay, uh, so everything I promise you, you elect me as your yeah. board member, okay, uh, board director. Now I'm telling you everything has been complete. I like the way you did and uh, also like the way that you, you interpret because that's exactly what happened. Hello, my dear folks, welcome back to the show. I'm getting excited, as you see, right? Talking to my friend, Tony Wu, about West Covina. Go ahead, please. Okay, so so basically, okay, I, get, I send out, okay, a so-called uh, report card. Okay, what I've done, one, two, three, it's all proof. Okay, what I have been done, I have been approved in the city council meeting, mm -hmm. or become a policy, a lot of big thing. Okay, for example, uh, I, I bring in, um, okay, big investor, because city need money. Okay, mm -hmm. well, without the money, we cannot pay for all the service. Yes, you mentioned the last time about how you want to select business. Correct. I mean, solicitate business Correct. investors and, and to uh, your city. And my job is to represent the you're city. You're actually on it. Yeah. It's not a slogan. Nope. No, nope. uh, it's not a slogan, it's a promise, okay? When people elect me, I owe them about the promise. So I'm <laughs> going to deliver my promise. I got, I got more earwax okay. of a hearing <laughs> slogans. 
Okay, and uh, I know, I know, but but to make it happen is a do is totally different. So mm -hmm. I, I've been solicited and all went to a lot of function to sell my city. Say West Covina, ten freeway, hundred twenty thousand population, mm -hmm. Ontario Airport close by, beautiful shopping mall. I Come see. to West Covina. You have a very business friendly, okay, government like me. We will help you to make things happen. Boom! That we get a BKK. We ah. get we get a potential five star hotel come uh, to West Covina mm, to build. Mm, mm. Okay, so a lot of good things happening and, 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 and including the most important thing I'm so proud of is right now going on is Shop Local After School Program. Let West mm, Covina, shop local after West school Covina, 120,000 population in the future, mm -hmm. okay, for junior high and high school students from two to six o'clock, they will have a free after school program. Okay, and there will be music, dancing, mm. singing, Okay, okay, performing art, even trade school, okay, meaning they can, if they don't want to go to college, they can learn how to do, mm -hmm. okay, fishing car, be a mechanic, or how to do a carpentry, or, okay, they can learn how to cook. All this for kids willing to stay in the school. So, so this thing happening right now. Okay, so, so I bring in all this to give the business owner, including your boss, yeah. okay, and help them, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. our after school program. So city, we, going to promote all this business. We're giving the certificate so they can hang in their okay, uh, window, okay the, okay, the front door or a magazine say, we are, have been recognized by the city. We are supported, sponsored of uh, after school program for music, dancing and singing. So this funding will go to the school district, will fund all this after school program. You know, Tony, you are convincing me a lot. You have convinced me a lot. Uh, about eight or nine months ago, when I had you here right after election, uh, you you did mention about what your thought was, and I thought, okay, I took it easy because I uh, they all talk like that, right? They all talk like that. It's a slogan. Now I would say it's rather the message. Go back to the message. The message has been confirmed and double confirmed, and even with a report card, right? Very good. I'm convinced. Very much. Convinced. Execution. You, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. have the idea how to make it execute. And execute it in the way. Uh, we'll talking when we come back. Probably we'll talk about the mechanism of the ways that you promote. It convinced me once <laughs> about how money goes in a circle. Yes. Right. Go. Uh, my dear audience, is we're not only having good time, but we are going into uh, a great set of mind of a good friend of mine, Mr. Tony Wu, council member of West Covina. Uh, well, I believe that he convinced me a great deal. What surprised me, what convinced me most was that whatever I said about nine months ago after he was elected to the city council of West Covina has been implemented not only but also executed not only but also on a report card it was done it is done and it's still being done mm -hmm. right yes and i believe you had if i'm right 11 of them mm -hmm. 11 or 10 correct over there uh -huh. right can you give me some examples of the after school program uh -huh. buying west covina buying local okay local and uh, remember i have mm -hmm. another yeah. big big program mm -hmm. i'm talking about how to utilize uh, utility okay uh, okay grant okay grant and you utilize those grant to help those okay um, fixed income people or mm -hmm. low income people to fix their own home and it's been implemented to our city too. City will help them to apply, okay, the utility plus we have a CDBG fund for the lower income for them to fix out their home. Uh, put this air, central air, put the, okay, and uh, all those uh, waterproofing, okay, thing to make sure they upgrade their life. At the same time, state upgrade- grant, State grant or federal grant? It's, it's a state, okay. State okay, grant, okay. Yeah. okay. And uh, plus, okay. plus we have, uh, Okay, utility grant. Utility grant meaning uh, Edison. Okay, they they have uh, some kind of uh, uh, program, mm -hmm. and we are we want to okay, implement and use utilize. And a lot of uh, residents that they don't know. So so when I was running, I told people, uh. I say, I, when I was door knocking, I see a lot of old home. Okay, and, and I myself, my first house in West Covina is a very old home, 1950 home. Okay, mm -hmm. it doesn't have insulation, yeah. it doesn't have air condition, and I know how difficult to live in that kind of house. Mm -hmm. So when I become okay, uh, okay, run okay with a, a candidate then I decided say maybe we can help out all those old home in West Covina 
and they, if they have a hard time to utilize okay, any fund themselves, then we can use the uh, utility grant and use the CDBG fund to help, and they already implement. So meaning a lot of uh, residents already starting using it. We can kind of upgrade our neighborhood and help them to make the property value uh, or living standard uh, better. So this is already is approved too. Uh, this is even more indication of a seeing is believing, right? Yes. Especially when the resident with their old house that mm -hmm. needs repair, mm -hmm. utility system that needs update, see the change. That's correct. They're convinced like I am. Yes. Even me hearing it, get convinced. Them seeing it, we get more convinced. Correct. And and uh, another one you're talking about, so what other program? Another one, my first program approved and implement is when I visit each of the department, I find out one thing, due to the budget cut, we don't have enough of a staff. So my first proposal is, let's get a bunch of uh, intern. Let's get internship. Uh -huh. let's, we have a five well-known college. Increase the internship. Yes, we have a five college surrounding us. Why not give young people a chance? Who doesn't want to, okay, have a chance to work for the government as an internship? Okay, and, and this so. This is great, this yes. is great. So this is the first approve my policy and have been approved five zero for my city council. Okay, and uh, then, then one thing is this. Unanimously. Yes, uh, <laughs> hey, who can say no? Okay, I like okay. That. And, yeah. and, and, but one thing is this. A lot of politicians is this. You, you get it approved, you tell people I approve it, then you walk away. I'm a businessman, I audit. Every week when I talk to my city manager, I say, how many interns you hired this week? How many? Uh -huh. I give pressure to my manager. Mm -hmm. It's like a CEO. I make sure my CEO you follows follow through. Up. I follow up weekly. I pressure him to pressure each department, hire more intern. Right now we have about 25 intern okay, working for us, new one. And uh, we are continue want to hire more intern to our city. But the saving to the budget is an opportunity to the young people. Win win again. It's a win win. Win win it's again. It's a win win. Win win again. Okay, and see, see, oh, I want, beautiful. I want. Beautiful. That's I, very beautiful. Yeah, I want the police and fire department. They all implement. Okay, let the intern to uh, come in. <laughs> Long time ago, I remember uh, Tom Sire. Uh -huh. Tom Sire, right? Mm -hmm. In the very first chapter. He was white painting the fans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a bunch of other kids looking at the, the painting. Oh, yeah. that's very interesting. That moment, Tom was tired. Mm -hmm. right? They said, I, I let everybody try for 10 minutes. And they lined up trying. They love Tom it. was kind of uh, having a nap. Supervised. <laughs> Over there yeah. under a tree. So, right? so yeah, so th this is a way, okay, use experience, okay, and the staff to get a uh, so-called uh, extremely, extremely passionate, okay, hungry, young okay, people to come into the city, bring the morale up. Hello, dear folks. Welcome back to the East West Show, exclusively sponsored by Paul Batani. Not only a chance to uh, to get hands on the job, but to know the American poli uh, politics system, how to run the government, how to run the government. Yes, and the pro and the well, it also works to the parents. Yes, and uh, one thing is this: my city city manager, and uh, my community uh, director, okay, my uh, economy okay improvement director, they all found internship. Okay, they all working for some cities, okay, government. Mm. They all starting as an intern. So what I'm saying is this, the intern is such an important thing for our use. Our city has to open the door and aggressively recruit because we are going to basically develop, develop our future talent. We're going to get old, we're going to retire. It's so uh, those people coming in. It's another school or a lab. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> For them to get hands on, okay. right? And uh, if we move on, another policy, uh -huh. okay, okay, it's very important too, is people don't see it. But when I was do door knocking and a lot of residents, okay, kind of, um, okay, complain to me and they say, hey, look at so many trees, so many dead trees, so many overgrown trees. And then later on, I find out when I get elected, we, our tree in the city, due to the budget issue, we don't trim the tree for seven years. So in that way, every tree, seven years, get touched. 
So they will create overgrown, 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 problems, overgrown will okay. create two major issues. One is a fire hazard issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the second issue is a wind blow, the tree collapse, mm -hmm. it's gonna kill or damage and the something. Wise, is such a it, it, for me to see right? is more of the hazardous. Yeah, okay, Poten hazardous, po yeah, potential uh -huh. lawsuit, potential okay, damage people property, potential hurting people. So that's what I see when I was walking on the street. That's why I say walk on the street, do door knocking is such an educational for the politician if they want to become okay yeah, yeah, yes yeah. and they can and on the way to door the door knocking you see oh my god this street needs a little trimming uh, not only that i think <laughs> you listen to resident you yeah, you, yeah. you you let you listen to resident you collect the information you collect the database a lot of my policy implement basically collect from them you touch base with the necessity yes with the first hand necessity yes. and the, on the way, you prioritize oh, all I prioritize. the things need to yeah. be done, right? So, so, so mm. basically, okay, entire my campaign promise or more has been implemented within eight months, okay? And the, 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 the rest is just try to execute. But only, all I have to say. All 11 proposals. No, I have to say one I haven't done yet. And uh -huh. uh, one thing, okay, that will be a little bit, I think it's easy, but I find out that will become a most difficult. Mm. Okay, at the school, it's very complicated, sound mm. very difficult, I make it happen. Mm. Okay, and uh, okay, big development coming to West Covina to make a four star, five star hotel, uh -huh. make a BKK landfill become a recreation Park, it's some very very difficult. It's all happening, but one thing regarding people, okay, is most difficult. Okay, and even resident, they cut, they they kind of counted how many I my promise. They say sorry, you still have a one, didn't deliver. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one after people, eleven, one out so of twelve. One out of twelve. Yeah, uh, and but well, but but that one I didn't right. say I didn't say which is that one. Okay, that one I, I say is so called is 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 pending. But it's not doesn't mean I won't do it. I will do it till I push my rest eleven or implement mm -hmm. or in the gear down we come right, back. Okay. Meaning what is that? I will have my staff, is city staff, to work Friday. Why not the Friday is off? Oh, I see, I see. So okay. right now my city staff, okay, is Monday to Thursday. Monday so, to Thursday. So okay. my residents don't have a service on Friday. And the reason is due to the budget, mm. okay, and due to the, 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 the labor negotiation. Mm. So in that way, okay, and it's still under negotiation. So let's, the one become, well, I was assumed this should be easy. Let's make everybody work on Friday. But when you go to, uh, we have a 450 right, staff, yeah, 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 yeah. And, the, and then now you already keep them only working for four days and the 10 hours a day. Now you want to change into eight hours and the five day and the budget, okay? And the, they used to uh, only work four days and now you want them to show up. And there's something you give, you want to take it back a little bit difficult. Yeah, after all, you want to stretch four into <coughs> five though. You're talking about 20% of increase. Correct. Right? Yes. Budget wise. Budget. Even though you can play a little bit with the hour, with the, with the, with the hour tough. per day. Game. And apply utility, everything. And for them, we say, okay, they will say, okay, we drive to work, we drive to go home. Yes. The time, the uh, driving, the cost of driving is the same. And every day, you're not talking about a big difference. It's still 20%. Correct. That we can allow you to wait a little bit to work more, work out more. Yes. But the more involvement, probably. Uh, should. I still uh, insist, okay, um, mm -hmm. my city should open five days. And this is my campaign promise too. Because okay. you're open five days. My you open uh, seven days. I open seven days, but my mm -hmm. staff working Friday, Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. Average in the United States, all the workers, okay, try to make me for their fam family is working five days. Okay, so the city government should open five days to work with our residents that pay for taxes, should do the same thing. I give you a uh, prediction. If you are a five-day week workout, that will be a role model to all, almost all Southern California cities. You check from city to city, they all do four. Correct. They all do four. Correct. Any city, uh -huh. most, at least most of them. Well, that will be a role model. And uh, you're, uh, we call it the Tony Wu model. No, 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 it's, like it's, it's, it's some of the city, they already have five days. It depends uh -huh. on the city budget. Okay, I don't want to take too much credit. I know, I know, but okay. you can, you're the man. Uh, I, my, okay, my, mm. my thing is this, okay, it's the same thing I promised to increase my police, okay, staff. Mm. Well, I told them my public safety is my number one. This is not a policy, okay, I implement. Mm. So right now from 89, before I get elected, now I get elected, we are 103. 
Oh, okay, so we increased quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, so, so uh, that's what? That's 20. Uh, yeah. That's almost 15, 15. Yeah, but it's yeah. not enough. I, uh -huh. my, my goal is I want to build my army to 125. So I still have about 22 people I have to hire. Mm. To At least we can see the patrol car on the street Very and people, people feel safe. But the but, but point is this, it costs money. Okay, and right now we just don't have that kind of money. So the only way for me... Well, well, well. We have a businessman running. Money might not be the issue because you are known for making things happen with or without money. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. For 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 this, for running uh -huh. a city, just running a company, uh -huh. money is a budget. Do you have money to do the uh, advertising? Man, do you have money to hire more people? And uh -huh. if you don't, why not? You just have to cut. When we say money, we're not saying that yes and no, black and white. We're talking about more or less. Sometimes uh, you can take more out of limited numbers of money. So that's the technique. Yeah. So basically to make a five day working or to improve, okay, or increase our staff rather than cutting back because the budget, meaning the major issue is how to increase our budget. Okay, and that is, that is basically the five star hotel, mm, the BKK and yeah. all those business okay. after school programs and about. Uh, you, we go back to where we start. Correct. Right? Correct. In the upper stream, where money comes from. Correct. And that is a concept that right. closes the circle, right? Yes. Very good. Uh, we're over time. My dear audience, we're way, way over time, but I did enjoy every minute of it talking to uh, uh, my good friend, Tony Wu, council member of West Covina, of the beautiful city that we are in. We rely upon, we care about. So my audience, thank you very much for watching. And to, to Tony, thank you very much for sharing. And for that number 12, that we would give you some time. <laughs> and for all the 11 that work it out, executed and work it out, mm -hmm. we appreciate it very much. So, Tony, thanks a lot. Okay. okay.